This video is sponsored by Novium, but I'll talk more about that later. A new Tesla patent application with battery tech superstar Jeff Don listed as one of the inventors was recently published describing several new hybrid battery chemistries, including an LFP nickel manganese cobalt combo that could soon find its way into Tesla's 4680 battery cells. Stick around as I discuss this exciting new technology and what it could mean for Tesla's vehicles in the future. I'm John and this is Cleaner Watt. Lithium iron phosphate or LFP batteries have a lot of benefits over their nickel based counterparts like being cheaper, safer and longer lasting. But the problem is that's at the cost of a lower energy density of these battery cells, making LFP batteries only suitable for mid to low range electric vehicles. However, Jeff Don's team has developed an LFP hybrid chemistry that could help increase the energy density of these battery cells while still keeping the cost low as is described in this patent application. But before I go into those details, this portion of today's video is sponsored by Novium. If you've been watching this channel for very long, then you've probably heard me talk about how much I love Novium hover pens. With that being said, if you have not yet purchased one for yourself or check them out for yourself, now is the time because as a part of their limited time Black Friday sale, you can get 20% off your hover pen purchase. In addition, they're also offering the hover pen interstellar as a part of a gift set with various accessories, including a high quality notebook. The innovative hover pen interstellar included in this gift set is inspired by space and when placed in its base, it appears to be hovering at a 23.5 degree angle mirroring the Earth's axial tilt. In addition, for those who prefer writing with a fountain pen, Novium also offers their hover pen future with a two in one fountain pen rollerball configuration. I really do believe that hover pens make a great gift for yourself or someone else. And you can find out more by clicking one of the links in the video description. And for a limited time during their Black Friday sale, enjoy a 20% discount and free shipping to most countries on all hover pens with code CLEANERWATT. In the past, it's been reported that Tesla planned to produce their own iron cathode based batteries or lithium iron phosphate batteries as an example would fit into that mix. However, it appears like those batteries may also include a hybrid version of LFP developed by Jeff Don's team that is described in this patent application. As a reminder, Jeff Don is a pioneer when it comes to lithium ion battery development, and he currently leads a university team of scientists that Tesla has a contract with. They help fund their research and they benefit from the breakthroughs and the technologies that they create. Well, in this patent application, hybrid LFP chemistries are described that have mixed in, for example, nickel manganese cobalt or mixed in nickel cobalt aluminum oxide. While I have heard of LMFP batteries, for example, CATL has developed LMFP batteries that Tesla plans to use in the 2025 standard range versions of the Model 3 and Model Ys that are produced at Gigafactory Shanghai. So for example, that battery technology is out there, but I haven't heard of a hybrid between a nickel-based chemistry and an iron-based chemistry. Well, that's what's described here. Interestingly enough, it looks like beyond just mixing these nickel-based chemistries in with the standard LFP chemistry, they might actually mix that into an LMFP chemistry as well. So there are some potential for interesting combinations here of batteries that I haven't necessarily heard of before. Now, something that I found interesting about this hybrid LFP battery technology is the fact that it's going to be mostly based on what's described here, an iron based cathode with a little bit of nickel mixed in. Traditionally, based on my research, it looks like lithium manganese iron phosphate batteries or LMFP batteries have around 70 or 80% of those cathodes by weight being manganese and around 20 to 30% of those cathodes being iron. So the majority of those batteries are manganese. However, with Tesla's batteries, it looks like the iron phosphate portion of the cathode will be at around 85% or greater with nickel based oxides making up 15% or less. The reason why I think this is really important is because it will keep the cost down of these batteries. 
If the bulk of that cathode material is still iron based and not nickel based, it'll keep the cost down. It's not going to have a high amount of, for example, nickel and cobalt in there. So it's going to keep the cost down. In addition, with more iron in that cathode, I believe it will maintain a lot of the typical LFP characteristics that I really like, high safety and long life for example. And in addition, adding nickel to that cathode chemistry should increase the range still of these batteries. And it looks like these batteries will have a slightly higher voltage, which will be good for performance electric vehicles. With that being said, here are the benefits that are described in this patent application. First of all, it's mentioned that these batteries should have improved energy density and capacity retention. And it's also made clear that this can be done without using a large amount of nickel or cobalt, which will keep the cost down. Now, obviously, since the bulk of the active cathode materials in these batteries is going to still be iron based, the energy density increase here is not going to be just like massive, but it still will increase with nickel being added to it. But when it comes to the capacity retention, some examples are specifically described here in this patent application with provided data. For example, it's written here, quote, figures 6A and 6B demonstrate that LFP unprocessed NMC640 cells improve the overall capacity retention by a factor of two relative to the baseline cell, including 100% LFP. In addition, it goes on, figures 6A and 6B also show improved NMC capacity activation as LFP unprocessed NMC640 cells provided superior overall capacity retention. I do find this really interesting because traditionally lithium iron phosphate batteries do last a long time and they're known for having long life, but it looks like this particular mixture will actually allow for the battery to uh, maintain more of its capacity over time. So this is really interesting data. Beyond that, it looks like these new hybrid cells do still have very stable cell impedance. When it comes to the significance and what is meant by stabilized cell impedance, it is related to the internal resistance in a battery. And traditionally, as battery cells age and start to, the materials start to break down a little bit, the resistance in that battery can go up a little bit. And so it shows the battery is starting to degrade if the resistance goes up. Also at various temperatures, resistance can increase. But it looks like this new chemistry does have a very stable cell impedance, which is a good sign. Basically, as is described here, quote, the inclusion of NMC and LFP cells provided enhanced cycle life. Now, as I was going through this patent application, I had a question. I wondered if this new battery technology could be used with Tesla's dry battery electrode manufacturing process. And thankfully that is actually addressed here. For example, it's written here, in some embodiments, the electrode film is prepared by a wet or slurry based electrode fabrication process. In some embodiments, the electrode film of the present disclosure can be a dry processed electrode film. It goes on to clarify, as used herein, a dry electrode fabrication process can refer to a process in which no or substantially no solvents are used to form a dry electrode film. And when it comes to what Tesla would use these batteries for, I believe very possible they could be used in the 4680 cell format in the rear wheel drive Cybertruck or the 300 mile range Tesla Semi or even in the Cyber Cab. And I believe this relates to something that I talked about in the previous video. An article was reported on the information.com. And in that article, it described several different battery types that Tesla was developing for their 4680 battery format. And one of them they referred to as a workhorse battery cell, which I believe is a lithium iron phosphate based battery, but it may not just be a traditional LFP battery. It may be one of these new hybrid batteries. Nonetheless, I do want to know what you think about all this. I'm excited by this, but does this excite you? Let me know in the comments section below. In addition, I want to say thank you to Novium for sponsoring this video. Make sure that you check out the Hoverpin Black Friday deals by clicking one of the links in the video description. You'll definitely want to check that out. Also, I want to say thank you to all of those of you who support me through Patreon. Your support makes a big difference and does help make these videos possible. If you'd like to find out more about how you can support my work through Patreon, I will put a link in the video description. Thank you so much.